Okay. So let's see. Come on. So I can read through the comments. Do, do, do. It is live, but I okay. can't see it at the moment. <laughs> okay, there we go. Awesome. Well, here we are. Good morning. It is Saturday, February 19th, 8 a.m. And we are here for Coffee Talk. And I am super excited to bring to you Liz. But before we keep going, I want to remind you that at 8.30, we are doing our Fit Party workout. So if you are listening live, feel free to get yourself prepared while you're listening to this and join the workout. The link for the workout is in the events tab in Fit Party Central group or I'll add it to the description of this video as well. So without further ado, let's bring on Liz. Hi. Okay, so Liz, tell me a little bit about yourself before we go into your like fitness journey. Tell me like who you are, where do you live? What's your life like? That yeah, thing. so I live um, just below Pottsville, Pennsylvania in a very, very tiny small town with my husband who's super busy my crazy chaotic 16 month old dragon and our fur baby angel, um, who is equally as energetic. <laughs> I am a full-time guidance counselor at a local high school. And my friends know me as the chaos coordinator because I am always on the go, constant, constant, constant. I'd rather be busy than bored. And I live by that motto. <laughs> chaos, I'm writing this down, chaos on the go. I love that. That's yes kind of me also, but probably yeah. not as much as you. So, <laughs> I love it. So, okay. So how old, 16 months you said? Mm -hmm. And you work in a high school full time yep. and your husband works full time as well. Yep. So yeah, you guys are super busy and yeah. um, morning, Kim. I see her. I see you over there talking up in the fit party central group. Okay. So who is your coach? My coach is Michelle Wolf. Michelle, um, okay. Yes, her husband is a fireman, just like mine. Um, they both volunteer locally, and they've known each other since they were kids. And that's how I got connected with her. I saw her posts. So I'm so thankful that she was posting and she got me hooked. Awesome. So what, what about her posts were like, did you reach out to her and she reached out to you? I reached out to her. Um, okay. They were just relatable. They were. She, what was she doing in her post? She, was, she, um, she was just sharing her workouts, sharing her successes. And um, this was even before I had my daughter. Um, so I like to tell people, this is my round two with Beachbody. Um, I had success the first round, but I wasn't really committed. I didn't really have a why. It was just, I wanted to do something um, to keep myself engaged and keep myself busy. And I think it was before my wedding um, when I really started to to do those workouts. And um, for some reason, I, I wasn't as committed as I am now. And I know that reason. Um, it's, it's my daughter. <laughs> um, so yeah, she just was super relatable. She was sharing her successes, sharing how um, her workouts and the meal plans were easy. They were um, easy to walk down your steps in the morning and do your workout. Mm -hmm. I needed easy because at that point I was a director of an organization. I was more busy than I am now working probably 60 hours a week. So it was just, I needed easy and that's what it was. Nice. Okay. So tell me the first round, was it with Michelle Wolf or were you like doing this on your own or with another coach? It was with Michelle. I didn't okay. lean in. I didn't lean into the community like I am now. Um, and that, that is when everything changed. <laughs> well, they'll bring, that's actually great. Cause I want to ask you more questions about that actual specific piece, but before we go in, I just want to show people your actual recent results. Now this is after your daughter, right? Like this is post child. Yes. Yep. Okay. This is, yep. So my, my first picture, um, in the blue that was in May, um, of 21 and I was seven months postpartum and I finally decided, okay, you, you got to do something seven months and you can't keep up with your kid. So that's when I started. So it was, it was a lot of energy too. Like you wanted extra energy. You wanted to be able yes. to yes. be around and have fun, be the fun mom, right? Yes. And she's not <laughs> tiny. So I wanted strength too. She is not a little kid. She's 26 pounds at 16 months. So she's wow, heavy. That's great. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I totally get it because people, they tend to hurt their backs after mm-hmm. having children, because if you're not toning up like your muscles, if you're not actually mm-hmm. doing some functional physical work, and then you're yeah. on, constantly holding your child on the hip on one side, other side in front of you, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that takes a toll on you physically yes. um, as well. So this is awesome. All right, yeah. let's let's dive in a little bit more. Tell me uh, this these results here are how long in between? Um, so the left is the beginning of May, around May 1st. Um, and the right is this past January. So and how much weight do you think the two are? 30, 30 pounds. Yep. So I went, go ahead. I went from about 182 to 152. That's so. awesome. Tell me, so the thing is about the transformations that we talk about often, um, we'll talk about the weight, but you can't compare it to just changing your eating that kind of weight because we're gaining a lot of muscle. Like you're doing a lot of workouts, right? So, um, and when I say a lot of workouts, let's talk about that as well. Um, so the transformations, the 30 pounds, you have to understand that she's losing fat mass, right. But gaining muscle mass. So it might be more fat loss than just the 30 pounds. You you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Gaining muscle at the same time. So these are amazing transformations. I love this. This is so great. But more so than the pictures, let's talk about the other stuff. So you talked about, you know, you wanted to get into it because it was easy. The meal plans were easy to follow. Um, you needed more energy. You wanted to be able to keep up with your daughter. And so those things are not going to happen with just nutrition, but you had right. nutrition, you had fitness, and you had the supplementation. So let's talk about um, those things, but also then let's follow it up with, okay, well, how did you even stick to it? Because a lot of people, you know, like you, you might have the tools, but sticking to it mm-hmm. is a whole other story. So let's first start with the workouts. What were you working out three hours a day? No. <laughs> um, when I started, I let's get up just came out. Um, so that's, that's what I started with. Um, and I only did let's get up and, um, I followed that plan and, I believe at that point I had dropped like between five and 10 pounds right away. Um, but I had been at a standstill like for three months. I hadn't lost anything for three months before I started working out. So to drop five to 10, um, just from let's get up because it's pretty low impact. Um, it was perfect for postpartum to jump back in. Yeah. Um, what are they? 30? Let's talk about let's get up for a second for those yeah. who are listening, but don't know what it is. So let's get up is about 30 minutes a day. I mm-hmm. want to say. Um, it's a dance fitness program. So it's just a ton of fun to do. And you don't need to know, you don't like need to have a dance background because it's more like learning dances at a wedding, like where they repeat certain moves. So it's very similar to that, but a lot of fun, a lot of fun, great music. Shanti will always keep you upbeat and, you know, and then he sneaks in little workouts too. Um, so anyway, anybody's ability level, you know, you can yes. do this program and you can push it as much as you want. Like I'm sweating my butt off by the time I'm done, you know, mm-hmm. and, um, it's just a great program, but it's only 30 minutes a day now for you to have, and it's, Oh, and it's only 30 days, right? It's a 30 day mm-hmm. program. So I think it's 30. Mm-hmm. I think so. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, anyway, for you to jump into that, it's a great program, but then you also had results with it too, which is so great. So tell me, what other things you were doing to get those results in. So you said like five to eight pounds. Is that right? Yep. So I was doing my workouts. Um, I would wake up everyone and my daughter's fussing. So you're crying. Sorry. (laughs) Um, so I would wake up. I was crazy. People told me I was, I was waking up at about four, four 30, um, because I was nursing. So I had to pump and then I had to pump. (laughs) That's what I used to tell people. Um, so I would pump and then come down here. I would do my 30 minute workout um, energize mommy juice. It got me through. Um, so I was using my energize. I was drinking my shakes and I was really trying to increase more vegetables, um, into my diet. That was my main goal. The meal plans really didn't set in for me probably until a few months in, um, because I really had a vegetable adversity when I was pregnant. So I, I didn't get sick from them. I just couldn't fathom eating them. (laughs) Um, so I just, my goal was just a vegetable at every meal. Um, so for me to see the results just from that little bit of veggies and making sure I was getting my water, which has never really been a problem for me. 
just that little bit to lose five pounds. It was so made so motivating. Um, was that, there, um, at, I'm sorry, at that time, were you taking any supplements either or no, not at this point? No, I was okay. just drinking my Energize um, okay. and my shakes. That Got was it. it. Wow. That was it. So shakes, I'm sorry, Shakeology? Yep. Yeah, so yeah. So you yeah. were drinking Energize, you were drinking one Shakeology as a meal each mm-hmm. day, and mm-hmm. you were making sure that you add vegetable, a vegetable, to at least every meal to help, mm-hmm. and then increasing water, mm-hmm. right? And then doing your workouts, your pump and pump, which I love that. Yep. <laughs> Love it. Yep. I love it, love it. <laughs> uh, so that's awesome. That is, that's incredible. I'm mm-hmm. assuming that seeing results as you go kept you motivated. It did. It definitely did. And like, as the month went on, I was realizing I was on the floor more with her crawling around. And I just felt a little more confident that since I'm moving in the morning, I can move more with her. Um, so to me, that was, that was huge. Wow, Kaylee said, and now she's a master at meal planning. You leave the Friday <laughs> calls sometimes. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. And I, Kaylee is the main reason that I meal prep because I am not by any means a meal prepper. I'm a huge planner. But when it comes to my food, it's normally just like a wing it kind of thing. So now the fact that I meal prep and have my breakfast, my lunches and everything for the week ready, um, and sometimes dinners and sometimes snacks. So it's huge. <laughs> this is, I love, oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun talking to you. So, um, okay, cool. So you did, let's get up first. You lost about five to 10 pounds through those. Kaylee's like documenting this for us. More water, Shakeology, daily, energize to get up, one veggie in the meal. Perfect, I love it. Tell me what happened after that because we still um, have another 20, 25 pounds to go. <laughs> so- I want to say right after that is when 645 came out. Um, And by no means did I know anything about weightlifting. (laughs) So for me, I was like, this is going to be a challenge. Um, So I did nine week control freak and 645. They were back to back. Um, I think nine week control freak came out. I was what I started and then 645 came out and I had FOMO. So I stopped. (laughs) I stopped nine week control freak. And I was like, "I'll, I'll finish those two weeks after I do six, four, five with everyone else. Um, you know, I don't see anything wrong with that at all. And, I, and, I, and I'll tell you why, because if you're excited to do a certain workout program, you yep. go with that excitement. What's the harm? The harm is what? That you are still working out. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yep. Like what's the harm of just going on to the next one with your friends? The harm is comes when you're not working out, not when you're working out. So I'm I'm all for that. I think it's awesome. Nothing wrong with it. That's great. And, and did for you like 645. I loved it. Um, I like to say Amwala is like my favorite trainer. I don't know what it is about him. Um, I think I secretly in the back of my head just kind of have a crush on him. <laughs> um, every time he comes down and he's on the screen, he's like, Do you work out with anyone else? I'm like, no. <laughs> um But I'm really mostly thankful that I did do his workouts because that is when I found my love for weightlifting. Um, I was afraid. I honestly, I was afraid. I was the cardio queen. Um, I was afraid of weightlifting. I didn't know what I was doing. And when I started with him, it just increasingly increased my confidence. Um, So from nine week control freak to then jump into that, And just from there, I had the confidence to start a group um, of women from our team. Um, We jumped in and we did the prep together. Um, We started to do the work together. And that, yeah, we just constantly started building. And then we jumped into job one together. So that's when I realized I needed the community. I needed the group of girls to do these workouts with me. Um, Courtney right now is doing the prep with me because we're waiting for the new gut protocol program to come out. Um, So it's just, I need somebody with me to kind of be along the journey. And then that's when I started to really coach as well. So I realized I need to grab people because if I need the community, they need the community. So when you say Courtney, which Courtney? Uh, Courtney Guyan. And if I said your name wrong, I'm so sorry, Courtney. Is Courtney in the same BOD group as you? Yes. Oh, okay, that's what I wasn't sure. But Mm Kaylee is not in the same BOD group as you. Correct. Okay, so this is what I, I'm bringing this up because it's important. Mm-hmm. Courtney said, whoop, whoop, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's important to know that just because we have multiple BOD groups doesn't mean that we're not all working as a team. So yes. I really think that's important to know the fact that you work with Kaylee and Kaylee, you know, you help Kaylee with the meal plan Fridays. And like, this is all awesome because all of our resources are, are able to 
transcend what groups were in. You know what I mean? If we were mm -hmm. in one huge group, though, it would kind of get muddled. So this is something that people need to know that it doesn't matter what group you are in in our team, right? Yep. It doesn't matter. You used to have the same resources, same coffee talks, same fit parties, same um, meal planning. We all come together for our workout Saturday morning. Like it's a fun community, no matter which group you're in. And I also bring that up because some coaches are nervous to run their own group and you don't need to be nervous to run your own group. We're still one big happy team helping each other mm -hmm. out. So just wanted to put that out there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I love that you're working like with all the people in all the groups. So that's mm -hmm. super awesome. Um, yeah. tell me, uh, okay. So Amwala taught you basically how to live mm -hmm. and then you kept yeah. going with his programs and then you felt confident with other ones, yep. but what about, so you said that's when I realized that the community, which is funny because that's when we, that's when you realized it. Right. But it was mm -hmm. still helping you prior to yeah. realizing it, which is yeah. funny. That's how we all are. We're like, Oh, I don't need community. And then like six months later of using the community, we're like, Oh, maybe I didn't need the community. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So tell me yep. more about that. Yeah. So, um, I really tried to, from that point on, when six, four, five started, we had a messenger chat going and seeing everyone share every single morning that they were working out, that they were working out for me. I had that FOMO again. I was like, well, if they work out, I have to work out or I'm going to miss out. <laughs> I have to see what they're talking about with he really killed us with this move and he really did this. So, um, I just, I had to lean in and, um, I had to share, I had to share because I knew if they were sharing, motivating me, I had to share to make sure that they saw I was doing it. Um, and that maybe they were sitting on their couch thinking, I don't really want to as they're sipping their energized. And then as I post, they're like, okay, Liz did it. Let's go. Um, so that was, that was for me, the game changer. Um, 100%. I have, I have this community, um, who until last night, I hadn't met any of them in person. Um, I met you in person for the first time last night yeah. and, and Amy and Courtney, um, I had never met anybody in person and it just, it's crazy that this virtual gym, which we haven't even talked about, um, has connected me to so many people. And I'm part of the Rooster Crew. I'm with Kim um, and Ursula, who I see every morning, um, who I haven't had a chance to meet yet. And it's just, it's crazy. What time are you working out in the Rooster Crew? Are you still working um, out at 4.30 in the morning? No, no, <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> um, that lasted until she turned one. <laughs> so um, I, I get up at five. My goal is to press play by 515. Um, so there are mornings that I see Kaylee, I see Amy, I see you, I see Courtney. Um, but yes, 5, 515. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I love all of this. I'm like soaking it all up. I, just, <laughs> I think it's awesome. And I love all these the 4.30 pump and pump. And then now you're part of the rooster crew. You're moving, you're moving along the, the groups. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. So Kristen was there last night and she goes, oh my gosh, it's so awesome to see everybody in 3D. And I thought that was, I was like, that's really cute actually. That is <laughs> cute. true. We like build these, these relationships. We don't even realize it. We're building these relationships. We never even met the people. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget uh, Lynn. The first time she looked, met me, she goes, Oh, you're shorter than I thought you were. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's just so funny seeing people in mm -hmm. person after, you know, yeah. so long of talking to each other. So I, yeah. I love it. I think it's great. And wait till you come to a summit and you'll meet mm -hmm. more people. It's just yep. so wonderful. So tell me um, two questions. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's go. Let's go back. What, how did you feel before you committed? this second time around you're like um you know this is your second time around mm -hmm. what were you feeling like that made you be like you know what I need to I need to do this yeah um so I always tell my friends the hardest part is getting started because it really is um for me that was that was the hardest thing to just commit um I knew the tools were there I knew everything I needed was right in front of me but making that commitment was the hardest part and I have no idea. I have, a, I have a psych degree. I'm a guidance counselor. I know all these things. Um, but just deciding I'm going to do this for myself, I think was the hardest part. And I think part of it for me was I was exhausted. Um, I had no energy. My clothes didn't fit. I was in that awkward stage between my maternity clothes fit and my pre-pregnancy clothes fit. 
Um, and I was just, I felt really lost to be honest. And it wasn't really until I said, okay, there's no programs coming out. I just got to do it. I just have to do it. And if I don't start now, a month from now, I'm going to be mad that I didn't start. Um, and I think ultimately it was the energy piece that really, I couldn't crawl around with her. I came home from work and I was exhausted. She had been at daycare all day and just wanted me. And I was just tired. I was so tired. I, my hormones from being pregnant were still racing and I needed the, I needed an outlet to just let those, um, emotions and feelings and everything just kind of go. And that's really what let's get up did for me. Yeah. You know, I, I think, um, I think a lot of people don't get started because they're scared. They're scared of it being hard. Mm -hmm. We run from hard things, right? Like we don't want to do hard things because they're hard. Right. Yeah. And when we see we need this change, right. This massive change or even small change, we were like, eh, that's going to be difficult. Right. And we don't want to admit that to ourselves. We don't want to say, hey, I'm probably not doing this because I think it's going to be hard. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I just think that, and it's easy to not do it, right? So it's not just hard to do it. It's easy to not do it. But I yeah. do think we get in our heads about that because it's not as hard as we make it out to be. So then after mm -hmm. we get started and we start seeing results, we're like, well, that wasn't that hard. And you're seeing results and you get motivated to keep going. But that first step is a decision. It's a decision. And you have to, you have to make the decision and do the action to then get motivated because your motivation comes from seeing that result, right? Yep. And if you're, so seeing other people's results may be a little motivating, but the motivation is inside from seeing the results that you, of the action that you created. So which one came first, motivation or action? Well, I'm telling you, it's probably action. Mm -hmm. You have to make that decision to take action first. And even if it's small, which that's, that's what I wanted to talk about because it's part of your story. You took action they were bigger actions but they weren't that big in the scheme of things right you were like um you didn't go in with all the meal plans and i shouldn't say they weren't that big it was big but i'm just saying you didn't take on the entire behemoth at one time you didn't like decide i'm gonna change up all my meals i'm gonna drink shake i'm gonna wake up early work out i'm going to right. get on the virtual gym i'm gonna do all the things all at once right you didn't, you picked and chose the things that you were excited or wanted to do first, right? And you started with the, I'm going to drink more water. I'm going to add one vegetable to each meal. Waking up at 4.30 is a big deal. So I'm not, I'm not downplaying that, but I'm just saying um, that was your biggest thing, right? Your big mm -hmm. thing. And then the other things were kind of like, I'm going to do this. Drinking a shake a day, that's not hard to do. You have to commit to it. You have to say, yes, I'm going to do this, but it's not a hard thing to do. Drinking energized before you work out, that is not just not a hard thing. That's fun. <laughs> it's yummy. It's delicious, right? So, but what I'm saying is um, you didn't take on all the things all at once. You made a decision. Then you started seeing results. Then you started feeling motivated. So anybody who's on the fence right now, um, I, want to, I want you to talk to them. But first I want you to say, how has your life changed? Like, how did this change your life from before when you were struggling with the energy, you know, kind of being um, upset with not being able to play with your daughter more, being on the floor more and all that, to now? How has your life changed through all these tools in the community? And then also tell me what you would say to somebody who's on the fence. Yeah. Um, so for me, I think the biggest changes are the ones that you can't see. It's the non-scale victories. It's the my mood, um, my energy level, and the, the way that my hormones just have shifted. Um, postpartum, I had like so much anger and aggression and we couldn't figure out why. Um, so to have that outlet, it was incredible. Um, and I didn't really share that with many people. So I know postpartum, everyone experiences something different and my hormones, they just could not fix themselves. Um, for whatever reason. And it wasn't until I was lifting and things that things really changed and I felt happier and the smallest things would set me off. Like if Reagan cried, I would look at my husband and I just had to walk away. And for me, that was huge. I, I wanted to snuggle her. I wanted to cuddle her, but I would just feel such aggression sometimes. And I didn't know why. Um, and that was, that was both disheartening and frustrating. Um, so once I felt 
my mood and my hormones shift. That was the biggest thing. That was the biggest blessing of everything. Yes, my clothes fit better. Yes, I lost some weight. Yes, I have more energy. But the fact that I could be with my daughter um, and not yell at my husband for no apparent reason, um, which would then be followed up with, I don't even know why I just did that. Um, So for me, once those things started to change, that was the biggest, most amazing thing from everything. That's amazing. I, and, and I could see, you know, you do it and you're like, why did I just do it? And then you have shame for doing it and mm-hmm. guilt and mm-hmm. just being able to erase all of that is so big. Mm-hmm. I'm sure, I'm sure like everybody you still lose your temper here and there, but this is yeah. what a magnet, like huge change, mm-hmm. huge change. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure it also helps you love yourself more too. Right. Yeah. And so when you can love yourself more and you can accept mm-hmm. who you are and 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 know that you're working on the change that's mm-hmm. I'm gonna cry so just keep talking <laughs> <laughs> you're fine you're fine um but and not to make you cry but that's why I share this because I know I'm not the only one I know I'm not the only mom who gets frustrated I've talked to so many friends and I tell them normalize it find yourself that outlet and this is my outlet um if joining me is your outlet great if not let me help you find something that is um I agree normalize it tell people that it happens and then figure out how to help it not happen yeah Mm -hmm. yeah absolutely and to answer your question for people on the fence just do it (laughs) it's I mean Nike said it right just do it (laughs) so it it's hard yes but find a friend find that person that you're going to jump in with if it's scary it's always easier when you do it with someone and I learned that Um, a lot farther in than I wish I did, because if I were to learn that in May, I might be a little farther than I am now. So just find that person. What do you think was harder? Do you think, so we talk about it being hard. So Mm -hmm. what's harder? Was it harder having the, the mood swings, the irritability, the not being able to play on the floor, the, you know, was that harder or is it harder now being uh working out every day and having to drink your shake and meal plan like which one's harder yeah I think obviously the the piece of not being able to play with her is hard but I think the hardest part is the regret the regret of not starting sooner because I can't change that I can't I can't go back and I can't shake myself and say start now start now if you could see yourself a year from now you would have wished that you started now I think that's the hardest part and I beat myself up for not starting sooner. Oh, don't beat yourself up for not starting sooner. You're freaking I'm proud awesome. of myself. I'm, I'm so, so proud, proud of, of myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. And I wish like I could just shake myself and say like, you can do this. You could have started sooner and who knows, maybe you might be farther or maybe you might be stronger, but you could have started sooner and realized how amazing it is. Yeah. So that's why I tell people, I'm like, you won't know unless you give it a try. You won't know unless you start. You You can join us on a Saturday and see what these workouts are and hear um, people like me talk about it. But until you you decide. It it took you two rounds, right? Mm -hmm. It took you two tries. I had two tries too. I mean, I Mm -hmm. tried multiple times before actually leaning into the community Mm -hmm. and um, I failed many, 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 many times before I actually found a community and created. I mean, I had to create the community. So don't even use that as an excuse. You know what I mean? (laughs) I'm so proud of you, Liz. Thank you so much so much for joining us i like i everybody's lighting up the comments so make sure you go in there and read all the comments because we're just so excited for you thank you again and guys um i'm gonna get off of here i'm gonna close this out and then you'll have to come back into it because i can't be the one running the the uh workout so i'm gonna close out this zoom and then re come back into the zoom if that makes sense for the workout um love you guys so much share this video with others All you have to do is go into Fit Party Central, click the invite button and invite your friends. They'll be accepted. They can watch this video. You can tag them on the bottom of the video and let's get Liz's story out there. Okay. So thank you so much, Liz. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks, Ashley. Absolutely. See ya. (laughs)